Hey everybody, welcome back to the doctor's office. If you don't already know me, I am the American Scotch Doctor. I'm about to review a new peated whiskey, the Ardbeg Weed Beastie. It's a five-year-old bottle from Iowa, and apparently people are having troubles getting their hands on this. I can't wait any longer. You wanna see what this thing tastes like? Thanks everyone for joining me today. If this is your first episode of the American Scotch Doctor, I'm here to turn average whiskey drinkers into whiskey connoisseurs. And thank God for spell check with that word. Have you ever tried to spell connoisseurs? Give that a type into Google. And don't forget, if you guys like what you see, don't forget to give a big thumbs up, subscribe, and please share this on social media with your friends. It would mean a ton. So. Ardbeg made a comment about the wee beastie. They said, our creators set out to make the rawest, smokiest Ardbeg ever. You're about to watch me open it. The wee beastie is, let me make sure I'm right here, 47.4% alcohol by volume. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it is a natural color and it is a non-chill filter version, which all Ardbegs that I'm aware of are non-chill filter. Look at that, that's a pretty little pop. Sounds weird. Oh yeah, natural color all the way. You know what, this is odd. This almost looks like traditional art bag. This is supposed to, this is this has, uh, is a combination of X bourbon and, or X bourbon casks and X Oloroso sherry butts. Um, sherry generally gives a, a red hue it's noticeably different from the Ardbeg 10, their standard bottle. This is interesting. Pretty excited about this. This is this is a pretty reasonable price too. Um, I think I paid. I think it was 44, 99, 45 bucks plus tax out the door. I'm trying to think what this is reminding me of. It's got the Ardbeg signature, but. Raw. I'm talking. This is. This is fun. This is an interesting little glass. I mean, at, at least upon the nose. Right now, so I usually want to give every single glass I pour about a minute in the glass for every year that the whiskey is spent in the cask, and for this it'd be about five minutes. Um, however, with a new bottle, I always love to try it neat, right out of the glass, no water in it, just to see what kind of nastiness. I don't care what, what bottle you give me. If you open up a bottle of whiskey the first time right off the bat, it's going to have differences from when you have it down here a week or two later. It's No one can contradict that. It's going to change. I'm not sure if anybody's heard of this, and I believe what it was called is Elements of Isla. Pretty sure it was Elements of Isla I bought, and that's a combination of different um, different distilleries. It's It's a blend of some sort, but... This is bringing out some, some memories to me. I'm really happy just smelling this whiskey already. All right, I'm gonna try this neat, no water added, not even five minutes deep. Okay, a little meaty. Right now, this is 47.4%, so the alcohol nip is, it's there. I'm excited to add a little bit of water, but I'm really enjoying this combination. I just can't get a grip on what I'm, what this reminds me of, but I do like it. Almost some seaweed in there. You're gonna hear people talking about tar. There's tar in this glass. Glue, being that this is a young whiskey, a little rubbing alcohol, not not a heavy, bad, like, oh, whoa, rubbing alcohol. I like the, the rawness of this, though. I'm going to try a little bit of water in this. We need to give it a little. You know what? Before I add any water to this, I want to give this another three minutes. This is some heavy peat, about 55, generally, roughly around 55 parts per million for Ardbeg. 
this version is going to be peatier in the bottle than their 10-year version simply because it's had less time sitting in a cask. Not all whiskey is dried using a peated method, and honestly, most is actually air dried these days. Um, but the folks that do, and some will partially air dry, and some will, you know, and then they'll partially peat dry it. Some is fully peat dried, and some is fully air dried, you know, so it, it can be a little of both ways. I'm getting a little toffee. It's starting to get a little bit easier now to hang out with. Man, it's really changing. Getting a lot more woodsy notes right now. Before in here, it was so phenolic. It was super peaty, super seaweed, coal ash. I'm still sipping on this neat because I'm so curious about this. I already like this. For $44, $45 bucks plus tax, one of the one of the cheaper bottles I've bought in a while. I'm sorry to say that. Start with just a little bit. I always like to start with a little bit. I mean, you saw that. Just a little bit of water first. We'll go from there. Um, especially with a new whiskey that I know nothing about drinking. Because I can always add more later. Uh, it's probably going to need a little more. can still feel that nip on the nose. It's getting there. It's getting there. I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to be our winner right there. At least close enough. I mean, this isn't science. Yeah. Still biting. Still got a bite to it. But I'm afraid if I add too much water, I'm going to lose this. I mean, it's clearly such a young whiskey. I mean, five years, you can't you can't get too far with five years of maturation. Um, using a sherry, a sherry cask, I mean, to be completely frank, I can hardly notice, other than on the nose, very, very slightly in the sweetness. But look at this. This is like straw, almost pale. A little confused about this. It's nice to see that they're not adding colorant to this, but what am I gonna do? My wife wants to throw these down the stairs sometimes because I have them sitting around. Like have it sitting in the kitchen, in the corner in the bedroom. Like I finally decided to start putting it in my closet with the whiskey. Yeah, get a little more water in there. Air out of my face this stuff's crazy too there it is okay this is like i'm smelling dry like dry twigs snap a dry twig powder in the air take a sniff you ever done that i mean i haven't just i don't just do that regularly but i imagine this like dry powdery twig just like the bark almost like the bark of a twig, of a stick. We can call it a stick, I don't care what you wanna call it. Yep, it needed that water. I instantly like it better, but also it kinda needs that kick, that alcohol kick. The arrival's sharp. I like it with this water because I'm noticing these wood notes. There is the sweetness that started to come through because that alcohol, I think, was just really tearing up any of the sweetness that we did have. I would feel so happy to go stand out in a field on a windy day, on a sunny day, on a cold day, on a rainy day. I'll keep this in my hand. It's not super complex. It is peat all the way. This is peat. It's just fun. It's just a fun whiskey. Simplicity. The finish, surprisingly, the peat does hang on heavily, but it's nothing like it is right when you first take the drink. When you're first taking this drink, you're going, what am I getting myself into almost? If you don't know what you're drinking, you'd be 
you'd probably be a little bit shocked to, to have somebody hand you this glass. You would almost think, like, when people talk about Laphroaig, if you've ever had a glass of Laphroaig, if you haven't, it's an experience in itself as well. Um, but it's, it's one of those experiences where you go, either you're going to say, I hate it or I love it. Give this bottle a shot if you can find it. Apparently people can't find it. I don't know why. I ran. I walked into the store and I saw this thing because I was just grazing. I didn't even expect to buy a bottle that day. I just like to go into the store. The Scotch Doctor, would you believe it, walks into the liquor store just to look. I mean, yeah, this is peat, tar, smoke, seaweed. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a script score of... I would like to give it a higher script score, but the finish is not very long. It's super heavily peated. That's what this has going on. If you want to drink a heavily peated whiskey, I'm going to be pouring another glass at this after we're done because I am not sure about this glass. And I'll give you guys an update on this in the, in the near future. I'll let you guys know after a couple of weeks of drinking this. I'll put out another video. I want to let you guys know what I think of this after a couple of weeks of sipping on it and after it's been down, you know, a couple of, a couple of fingers full. It's a fun whiskey. This is a fun whiskey. Not often do you get to drink a fun whiskey. Sometimes you go, that's a delightful whiskey. I really like this. This is a whiskey that you would tell your friends about. So I appreciate you joining me here today. I hope you really enjoyed the video. And please, please make sure that you're being responsible with this. Do not get drunk on this stuff. I've never gotten drunk in my life. This world is not about us. It's about sharing it with other people. That's why I brought you along on this journey. Again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, share with your friends on social media, and subscribe. and subscribe, please subscribe, and hit that bell for notification. Not just the bell, there's a bell, and you click up, and then there's a little buzzy bell. Hit that one, that'll let you know anytime I post a new video. You don't even have to go to your YouTube, it'll just show it up on your phone. You'll be like, he's got a new video for me? Well, that's good. Probably should've given it a higher script score. I won't be mean. Hard bag. Thank you.